In this video, we're going to look at how to send student reports using a mail merge and Google Sheets. So in order to do this, the very first thing I'm going to do is open up a new sheet. So I already have Google Chrome open. I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to type sheets.new. This is a shortcut to be able to open up a new sheet very quickly. It also works with slides and docs and forms. The next thing I'm going to do is give my spreadsheet a title. It's good practice to give titles right away because I'm sure we have lots of untitled docs or sheets in our Google Drive. It makes finding them after the fact a little bit easier. So I'm calling this one student report period two. You can use whichever naming system you want. So my sheet is ready. Now I'm gonna go back to the staff portal and I'm going to open up Hapara Workspace. Maybe you use a bookmark or you just go straight to the address bar and type it, whatever way works for you. So once that opens, you should be able to see your classes. So select the class that you wanna start with. I'm gonna select this training class. Once that opens, the only tab I'm really worried about right now is the one that says class info. So I'm gonna to go to class info and I'm gonna select that. When yours opens, you'll probably just see your name because this is a training name. There are lots of other teachers on this class. What I need here is the student info. So I'm gonna select name and it's gonna select everybody. I'm going to go to copy. Then I have to make sure I select CSV, very important. So this is how we're gonna bring the data into the Google Sheet so that it's a lot easier to work with. The next step is to copy to clipboard. So once we've done that, we're then gonna go back to our sheet and I use control V to paste. You could use the uh, edit menu and paste that way, but I find it's the easiest or you can right click and do it that way. From there, I'm gonna go up to the data menu, scroll down, select split text to columns, and it should automatically separate all of your data. The next thing I need to do is insert a row above so that I can label my columns. The columns must be labeled in order to be able to complete a mail merge. So we have first name, last name, and then email address. If you hover between two cells, you get an arrow, and if you click on it, it'll automatically resize the cell to fit its contents. The next thing I'm doing is adding a course column and a grade column. You could include a comment column or any number of things. The course I'm going to use is MCV for you, so I'm gonna type it in the first cell. A very quick way to copy it down is to select it, and then there's a little box that appears in the right corner. If you drag it down, it'll automatically populate those cells. The next thing I'm going to do is just randomly put grades into this column. You would likely be copying and pasting it from, a, um, from wherever you're gathering your grades. So I'm just making up some grades, some that are pretty good, some not so much. So I have all those grades put in. The next thing I'm going to do is actually add myself so that I can test whether or not the email sent when I thought they did. So I'm adding my first name, my last name, my email address. I'm just gonna copy the course code or just type it. And then I'm gonna give myself a pretty high grade. So I have my data all ready to go. Now I wanna be able to send a form email to my students. So we're gonna start by going to add-ons and then get add-ons. We actually need to search for the add-on that we're going to use. So once it opens, you're going to type mail merge. When you hit enter, several different options are gonna come up. I use the one that the arrow is pointing at. Uh, so the instructions that I'm gonna give work with this mail merge tool. You're more than welcome to try a different one, but the instructions are going to be unique to that mail merge add-on that you're in the process of getting. So then I'm gonna close it. You'll have to go through all the Google permissions, all those different things. I'm gonna go back to add-ons go to mail merge and start. So when I do that, on the right side, a new menu comes up. So this is where all the information is going to be identified in terms of where it's coming from. So there's only one sheet in this file, so I don't have to worry about which sheet it's identifying. It's asking if I want the emails to come from the email column, and that makes sense. Here's where you would give it the subject for the email that the student's going to receive. You could give it student report period two, uh, midterm grade, final grade, whatever you wanna use. Then I selected email body template. This is where you're actually gonna write the email so that you can insert a form template or create your own message. So I have one from All Saints where I just went to a file, 
I'm going to copy what was in there in a Google Doc. Then I'm going to delete everything that's here in the email body template. I did control B to paste it like I did in the sheet. And then I'm actually going to work with the spacing a little bit because to me it was a little bit too spaced out. You'll notice there are three red sections. So student name, course, and grade. I need to delete these and replace them. So I delete it student name. And up at the top, I'm actually going to hit insert merge field for first name. So I've done that. So whatever's in that first name column, that's what's going to go there. Then I'm going to get rid of the course. I'm going to go back up to the top, change it to course, and then insert the merge field. Then I'm going to select or get rid of the two X's that are there, go back up and select grade and insert merge field. Then I have to change it where it says insert your name. Obviously, you don't want to insert your name going out to your students. So put in your own personal name here. So I'm going to put in Mrs. Deal. You don't have to use a form template. You could type anything that you want in there and then insert the appropriate merge fields where necessary. So now I think I have everything ready to go. I'm going to go select emails and I'm going to hit merge. Once I do that, it tells me it's preparing and it says 11 emails, which makes sense because I have 11 cells there with information. And you'll notice it's populating. May the fourth be with you. Um, so the fact that all of those rows are being populated with merged on, that means the emails have been sent successfully. I'm gonna go to my email and check to see what it looks like. And then when I open it up, you can see this is what the students are going to see. So hopefully that helps you create some reports to be able to send to students. If you have any questions, please let me know.